Hi there, this is Al from GamingGeek.net and today we're going to take a look at a game that I'm sure is going to run on the Red Red Pocket 4 Pro. Um, this is a Haunting Ground. Uh, before I uh, had any of these retro handle devices, I never knew about this game. Um, but it, it is actually a game that... Uh, I would have played and enjoyed because it's a survival horror game from Capcom and I've tested this game several times already on different uh, retro handheld devices. I think I have this on the Retro Pocket 3 Plus, the Retro Pocket 2S and uh, the Anbrenic RT405M and so I have no doubt that it's going to run well on the Retro Pocket 4 Pro. It's just that I didn't have a lot of time uh, this week. I was quite busy. And all the times that I tested this out on the other devices, I was testing the PAL version. So we're looking at the NTSCU version today. I'm using Ether SX2 to play this game. Uh, version number is 1.4.3060. Just lowering down the volume a little bit. And yeah, before we let this continue, uh, let's take a look at my Retroid profiles and set Ether SX2 settings. So every time I test uh, a PlayStation 2 game, I'm always on high performance and smart fan. Uh, it's just to minimize the variables, right? Uh, but feel free to try this out on lower performance modes. There are, there's performance in standard. I think at, at a minimum, you're, you're going to want it to be on uh, performance. And then for Ether SX2, um, like I said, I'm very confident that uh, this game is going to run. So I'm actually using my default settings. Um, so when you uh, when you run Ether SX2 for the first time, it's going to ask you to do a setup, right? And then you can choose uh, set optimal settings. So I'm following optimal settings, um, and from there, I didn't change anything under system. I'm just going to run through it. Right, just so for you guys to see there, but nothing changed. For graphics, this is where you're gonna change something. Um, I set GPU renderer to OpenGL and upscale multiplier to 2x native, right? So I always start my PlayStation 2 tests using that settings. Uh, audio should be Gaussian and time stretch for interpolation and synchronization. And nothing else really. Um, don't touch anything else, right? Aside from the controller mapping, of course, that's a completely different thing altogether. Um, so yeah, if in case we do need to change settings, um, then take a look at the video description. I'm going to mention it there uh, if we change the settings, right? So if you see a note telling you to go to the end of the video, then you know that uh, we we ended up with a different uh, set of settings. All right, and yeah, because I'm confident that this is gonna run well, we're not gonna spend uh, the usual amount of time. Uh, I will call this out though. If you notice, there's some light, bright, bright lines on the left and upper part of the screen. That usually happens when you upscale, right? So right now we're in two x. If we go one x. That's going to disappear. Right. Um, I'm not sure. What's that? I see at 1.5x. So it's not there at 1.5x. So at 2x. You do get that. Now. Uh, that normally doesn't. It shouldn't bother me. I mean. Oh. Now it's gone. Did we go into. Yeah. We're on 2x. So that happens again. When you upscale, sometimes there are some uh, artifacts that form. Maybe that uh, got left over from the... Uh, we're not going to change anything here. Wait, did we have options for subtitles? No. New game. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. For the longest time, I didn't even know what the uh, protagonist name was until I read an FAQ today so now I know and I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter so you guys can see
normally I try to play uh, these games until I get to a boss fight but for this game it might be a while uh, before the, the, the boss fight so I'm not gonna wait that long And yeah, if I'm sure that this is going to run well, why bother testing it, right? Well, um, this is for people who are interested in the Retro Pocket 4 Pro, but Haunting Ground is their favorite PlayStation 2 game. And they want to make sure that uh, this game runs well on this device before they make the purchase, right? So... I don't know how famous a haunting ground is. I definitely have not heard of it before uh, getting these retro handhelds. Um, I first heard of this game when someone asked for a test. Uh, I think it was on the Retro Pocket 3 Plus. And then, you know, I tried it out. It's like, wow, how come I've never heard of this game? I don't even know if anyone's tried this out on the Wicked Pocket 4 Pro already and posted a video, but... Yeah, and there's Fiona. Huey. a weird loading screen i mean i don't know why, why that the loading is that but yeah um so i one thing i like about you know having having the channel is uh because of people making requests i end up checking out a lot of different games now i, I i'll be honest right sometimes the games that uh, people will, will ask for aren't really that interesting to me. In fact, I've done a couple of tests uh, on games that I regret, I regret wasting my time on. Um, I'm sorry. But uh, I also run into these uh, games that are really really up my wheelhouse so to speak this is one of them So far, it's um, running pretty smoothly. Although I've seen the metrics here on the upper right that turn red twice already. Fiona's got some bruises.
Right. There you go, wait. Uh, I think we can do something. Uh, did we already change? Not yet. So, let's go ahead and change. Yeah. See, this is a very, very unsettling. All right, let's wonder where we can find a map. No map. I don't think it's anywhere near here. Um, I also remember when I was um, when I first tested this game. Um, I tried my best not to read up uh, on you know guides and FAQs, right? Like I was trying to progress. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Uh, circle examines medallion. All right, so we're going back uh, specifically for these items. Might be useful. I don't know. And so in that, because I used to um, approach these games blindly, right? Then I was uh, very inefficient. Sometimes I'd spend a long time, you know, just going around, not really knowing where I'm supposed to go. Right? I, I end up actually wasting time because I'm not supposed to. Uh, do that. Chamomile, alright. Or chamomile, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but whatever. I think the first time I played this, I spent a long, a long, long time here in the courtyard uh, trying to see where I'm supposed to go, looking for secrets and whatnot, uh, and 
um well look at look at the time right it's already um 15 minutes into this video and i was actually pretty uh, efficient there right imagine the how long it took me on my first try all right and oops And I think I wasn't even uh, going on, running all, all the time when I, I first played this, right? Because I was uh, conscious of hidden mechanics, like uh, if I was running all the time, I was thinking, is it going to drain health or, or something like that? So that is a panic. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's afraid. Uh, Alright, so I think it's faded already. So there is a panic mechanic in this game when your, your character becomes too afraid. Uh, things happen. Let's go inside here first. Uh, we're supposed to do something here. Luminescence. Now we're just supposed to get this. Lavender. All right, we'll be triggering a uh, cutscene. Okay, let's trigger it. Look at, look at him go. Hurry up, a lady.
Where I think it's safe to. Ooh. I was gonna, I was gonna come out of hiding. Coast clear. Is it really coast clear? I'm not sure. All right, let's go out. No, <laughs> uh, I think. Wait a second. Am I mistaking something? Or maybe the music's really supposed to be that way. All right. I hear something. Oh. You know what? Supposed to read something here first. There, Emma. Sorry, the open. We actually had a typewriter um, back when I was a kid, so but this is not a typewriter, of course, but it looks like it. Emmet Place, Emmet Plate Key. All right. I think there's an, uh, a different name that you can type in there. Um, they'll give you a better key, um, but. I'm not gonna cheat too much. I think the, the first time I tried this game, this is as far as I got. It took me an hour, I think. So imagine how much faster, I mean, compare how much faster I am now. We're just like 25 minutes into this. So.
Hmm. All right, let's proceed. Am I supposed to go in there? Oh yeah, did they? The camera angle is a little confusing. This is uh, creepy, but I remember this. Oh, I didn't notice how jiggly uh, Fiona is. Just remember, I mean, who can't not notice that, right? Like, look at that. Yeah. It's a product of an era, right? This is when stuff like Dead or Alive uh, had a jiggle that you can uh, turn on in the options menu right remember remember that oops all right so we need to be careful here <laughs> the item that i could have gotten if i use a special password on the golem could have been helpful here should have should have paid attention to the guide that i was reading but i missed out on it so now we have to be on alert All right those are very dangerous close the door there you go. Oh, 
Oh wow. Trap door. Oh. Am I supposed to do something here? Very puzzly. We're actually qu progressing quite fast. Um, oh, what's this? can't get over how bouncy <laughs> feeling is. Um, this is a very distracting, right? Even even from that distance, um, you can see it. All right. Oh, no. Don't close the door. Oh, look at that. Um... Actual slowdown, so we're going to ha actually change the settings. So that's a that's something. You know, usually when when it does that on OpenGL, I just uh, switch to Vulkan and turn threaded presentation on, and that should fix it. Right, and then I watch out for graphical glitches. for something here. They're supposed to be... Oh, there. What's this? There. So, uh, I bet you later on we're gonna uh, find a way to mend that uh, crack plate key. Oh. Close it, Fiona. that some slowdown castle sketch nice all right now we have belly castle now we have some sort of a map and chicken jerky. Where are those items for? Restores a small amount of dog stamina. All right. Hmm.
for real. Quite tense, right? I mean, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not that tense because I've already seen this play out back then. <laughs> first time, first time I saw this, I was like, oh. See, we're almost close to where I plan to end the episode, but we're just only 40, 41 minutes into this. Um, it's too, too soon. Oh, wow. So you might have to do a little bit of uh, item hunting.
All right, let's try that. That was quick. the last time um, I tried this game uh, this is where I, I ended uh, when we got Huey right but uh, we still have quite a bit of time so up search down call to a side left is cold and right is freeze R3 So... There's supposed to be a... An item here. Oh, there you go. So, um, the hewing uh, mechanics, wait, how do we do that again? Up is search, down is call Huey to your side, so. Come on. Let's go look for some items. Right, the, Come on. 
Fun thing about Huey is you don't control, well, at least when we're controlling Fiona, um, you don't control Huey directly, Huey. so you give him commands like this, right? And <clears throat> there's also like a relationship uh, system, so. quite disobedient so when Come on. you praise him for uh, when he does good things and you scold him when he does bad things right? Uh, your the relationship between you Go, Huey. improves, right? Then he becomes better, and you can't simply spam uh, praising because he also becomes like arrogant. Um, Huey. Nice. All right. So that's one. Where else do we have? Now I'm not, uh, I, well, I don't hate animals. So I'm also not an animal lover. But I understand uh, that a lot of people are, you know, animal lovers. They have pets and whatnot. And I think. You know, where animal lovers will, pet lovers, right, will, will appreciate what happened to you. There, so we scold him. Yeah, we can. Go, Huey. Come on. Sit. Come on. Good boy. Go, Huey. Oh, nice. All right, look at that. Ball.
Kiwi didn't catch the ball. Alright, that was disappointing, Huey. Alright, what else can we do here? Where's Huey? Huey. 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 Go Huey. Go Huey. All right, I heard that. Uh, I read that uh, for extra friendship points. Um, Go, Huey. Go, Huey. Weird. How do you make Huey attack? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Alright, let's praise Huey. Viola medallion. Good boy. All right, there's supposed to be a fence here. You can make um Hmm. Oh, I think this is where
What else are we supposed to do here? Just put it in the jar. Beef jerky, that's probably uh, for Huey, right? Where is Huey? There you go. I think we've already found all the items here. Huey. Good job. Huey. Let's Huey. go. All right. I think we are about to wrap this up here. Um, let's just go. So I've, that's the first time that I've, saw, I've seen that area, the Huey. training area. Huey. And we're going to visit another area that I've never Huey. seen before. Look at the very good view. I'm glad I did did a bit of that. So at least we got an hour, and I'm gonna be seeing this cutscene for the very first time. And I thought something was gonna happen, but uh, that was it. Okay, so I guess that's uh, the exit to this um, castle, and we're just gonna have to find a way how to get. Get out of here. But yeah, so that's Haunted Ground. The NTSCU version. A very playable on the Retro Pocket 4 Pro. But uh, it didn't work with my uh, default settings. Or at least when we got to the castle dining room. Um, the game slowed down to 20 uh, frames per second. So this is a, a 30 frames per second game. Now we're just, uh, try to open this. Alright, so not here. Um, but yeah, so since my defaults didn't, uh, work, this is what worked for me. So, 
uh, in EtherSX2, press on that, uh, well, you know, uh, access this menu, then press on that circle icon with an I in the middle, press on general, press at optimal settings, uh, don't change anything in system, graphics, change GP render to Vulkan, upscale multiplier to 2x, and then uh, scroll uh, down until you find threaded presentation, make sure that's checked. And that's about it. Oh, uh, see? This weird um, Gaussian and time stretch for interpolation and synchronization. Uh, if it's not set, then it's set to that. So, I uh, hope you guys see my comment in the video description. And I hope you uh, forwarded uh, here because, uh, again, my defaults didn't work. Um, it was a simple change, really. Just from OpenGL to Vulkan. Right, uh, where, where is Huey? Huey, come on. Alright, and yeah, so check this out. Um, not your typical survivor horror game. You also um, have your uh, pet Huey here. So you have to utilize the... Uh, Huey mechanics, right, to be able to find the hidden areas and Where are you? I'm gonna have to scold you, Huey no. All right Huey. Yeah, see very interesting and Plays well on the Retro Pocket 4 Pro, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Once again, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.